Hi guys, welcome to this full review about this GT4 smartwatch. By the way, I've bought this on Timu at full price. So this is not a sponsored review. This is just my honest opinion on that. There are a couple of different GT4 watches listed online currently. So mainly there are two different shapes. We have the one with the soft edges and the ones which are fully round, but you also have to be very careful. There are also some GT4 watches which do not really have the exact same functions. By the way, the app is the RD Fit. If you want to have exactly the same thing, you have to also make sure that it's supporting the RD Fit. I mean, usually these watches are only supporting one app and not different ones. Here we have uh, some of the specs. Also, detailed description here. Model says F200 for some reason. Battery 300 milliamps. Also here some more information. So let's open see what we get. It's sometimes very really difficult to find out what we really get, but I think I ordered the correct one. Especially when you go on team, you will find the whole instructions manual. If it looks like that, then you get probably also this watch here. So I'm not going to show you everything here, but I'm going to show you everything what the watch can do. So here we have it. When you buy this style, it's available in a lot of different colors. Comes with a USB A wireless charger. Sometimes manufacturers are saying wireless charger and they don't have wireless. They still have these contacts, but here it really looks like it's wireless charger. But we'll find out. And it comes with the metal band, but also a silicon band. What I like that we get it in standard 22 millimeters, so we can easily buy something else in 22 millimeter size and replace that. So here we have the watch comes with a decent protection, definitely looks new. The metal band, of course, could be a little bit difficult to adjust in length because we have this opening here. And when we want to make it smaller, I think we have to remove some parts here. So that's definitely not a problem with the plastic band or silicon band. So we have to use this one here on top, turn it around, then push this metal pin here down. Align it. Let's see how difficult this is. Yeah, okay, we have it. Same thing on the other side. Okay, it was not a big deal. So it should come like that. And then of course we want to see if we can charge it with normal standard wireless charger. So I turn this on, put it on top. Would be a surprise if it would charge, but we never know. It doesn't do anything. And so we are using the original charger, yet yeah, somehow magnetic and it charges right away. Yeah, it's a little bit weird. So it's definitely some kind of wireless charge, but it looks like it's not a standard wireless charge for whatever reason, or maybe just for the initial charge, I don't know. So we have it definitely on and it does no charge. So it's a little bit weird. You can see this watch, also very cheap watch, it was around 20 or 30 dollars, but this is supporting standard wireless charging here definitely charging while this watch here on the same standard wireless charger is not charging yeah last attempt here with this wireless charger also no luck i guess showing red which means it's something which is not compatible so it looks like they are really using their own proprietary wireless charging and so while the watch is charging i can download and install the app from the official store but what i can already tell is that the display is definitely looking very very good it's an amulet always on display now i've downloaded and installed the rd fit it says not connected but the cool thing is i didn't have to open an account Maybe I can make an account, but it looks like there is no login. That's the good thing. On the other hand, if you lose the phone, you will probably also lose the data. So let's go to device, scan for device. Of course, you have to give permission. Let's see, SS GT4 Pro Plus. And it's connected. Another pairing request. If you want to make phone calls, of course, you need the contacts. Now it's synchronizing data. That was maybe a little bit too much. I don't know how much storage we have here. Looks like it's a very long 
synchronization process. Never seen that before. Okay, it was on zero for a very long time. And after that, it went to 100% almost instantly. What's very important here, of course, the notifications. So we have to give permission, of course, for the app itself, the or the fit. Very important. Otherwise, you won't get any notifications at all. All and then we can activate notifications for the apps which you have here on the smartphone. Of course, you want to get some notifications for phone calls, SMS, WhatsApp. And now, what's very, very important is that we have also other apps, and you can see that we can activate or deactivate notifications for all the apps which I've installed here on the phone. That's very important. A lot of such apps and watches are still not allowing to access all the notifications. So here is the RD feed. We have that possibility. That was also a reason why I have bought this watch. Unfortunately, we don't see the icons and it's not in alphabetic order, but other than that, no complaints. Then we can also set alarms here directly on the app. It's a little bit easier than doing that on the smartwatch, but we can also do that here. The alarms will then be synced to the watch. So I've been adding already five alarms and it worked and it still gives me the plus to add more. With a lot of smartwatches, we can only have four. Also very positive thing here. And we have a very modern UI. We can, for example, just swipe to the side and delete the alarms, which we don't need. Then we have some reminds, drinking reminder, medication reminder, and some other things interesting. So it looks like for the reminders, we can choose from screen illumination, vibration, and vibration and illumination. So we can activate the start time and end time when the watch should turn on with a wrist gesture. Also something really nice, but I've been thinking we could have the screen always on. Maybe we can find this here, screen illumination duration, but 60 seconds is the maximum. That's weird, but okay. Heart rate monitoring, test frequency maximum is 10 minutes. Also blood glucose measurement, the shortest frequency is 30 minutes. So let's try to do that 24-7. We have do not disturb for the night. Pretty convenient. Update firmware. Yeah, I should have done this before, but uh, we are on the latest version anyway. Contacts. Then we have the NFC options. I'm not going to cover that here in the video. Need some extra information. What I haven't found here in the personal settings is an option to feed our fitness and health data, for example, to Google Fit or some other fitness apps. And here, of course, in the front, we have all the information about the heart rate, blood pressure, blood oxygen, temperature, blood glucose, and this MET, which is, I don't know, can't remember what it was, but we have definitely a lot. Yeah, just found out one crazy thing that the buckle here on this watch band is missing. Absolutely crazy. Never seen that before on any watch. Yeah, and so I'm back here after using this watch for around two weeks. And it's absolute uh, beauty. Watch this thing. Watch this different watch bands, especially this one here. Looks absolutely fantastic. Would say also really nice build, not only beautiful. And we have these amazing functions. So definitely go get it. Uh, yeah, maybe rather not. Yeah, the big, big problem here is the reliability, unfortunately, on this watch. Yeah, it's a real, real beauty. We have super high specs and even actually a surprisingly good build, good screen, almost good everything. By the way, I've replaced the original watch band here with this expensive leather band. This leather band alone is more expensive than the watch itself. It's a little bit crazy, but it looks very beautiful, but it has been super, super unreliable. And by the way, that's definitely the GT4 Pro Plus. Of course, it's not the original UI, of course, even though it looks very similar. It's the one from TMU. Maybe you can also buy it on AliExpress. You can even buy the same model, by the way, 
the same thing is also available in a round shape and that's also available on Amazon I've found if you're interested. So what's actually wrong with this watch? You can see the crown works absolutely awesome. For example, here for the watch faces, also for the menus here in different styles, we can switch that with double push here. So we have different modes, but it's vibrating for every change. I don't know how we could stop that but it's not my major complaint also this really nice looks really beautiful so i've been always going with this one here and yeah, maybe let's start with the positive things here and that's also the charge but it's not super positive we have this wireless charger you can see there is no metal so it's a real wireless charger we just put it here on top and it starts charging automatically what's awesome we can put it like that on the side and use it on our nightstand the whole night even when it's stopping to charge and you don't have it on always on it will still stay like that like a clock on your nightstand the whole night that's absolutely awesome i've never seen a watch doing that maybe apple watch can do that it doesn't charge on both sides you can see it's just magnetic on one side so it's very comfortable but the big disadvantage is that it only works with exactly this charger and of course you get just one and i have no clue how you could get a replacement if it's damaged you probably have to buy a new watch then but i mean it's 30 dollars yeah okay so what do we have here of course a lot of functions i'm not going to show you everything it's pretty much standard lot of fitness lot of health but i wanted to show you some things which are not good so let's start with the alarm i have two alarms here the good thing i can change them here or i can change everything here also in the app but the bad thing is it wakes me up in the morning not only with the vibration as it should be it's also emitting an audible alarm i can show you that here when we add a new alarm we push here can see so we enable it here and that's also one of the problems uh, with a lot of things which we have down here the screen is not working so it's very difficult to turn it on yeah anyway go back here is it activated or not now here it's very easy but all the things which are down here can be a little bit tricky so let's go back what's the time yeah we are just a few seconds away now you have to see what's happening now okay it started with some vibration but now we have also very loud audible alarm of course the alarm stops whenever i do something rotating the crown pushing here or pushing here but even when i really hit this button while it's still vibrating i mean it's vibrating first uh, for about one second and even when i push here during this time it will still start the audible alarm and then when you're not alone it will wake up other people that's not good definitely complete fail i've never seen that that it's not possible to turn off the audible alarm with a smartwatch every 10 dollar smartwatch can do that why not this one here and that's actually the deal breaker for me but i'm going to show you of course all the other things as well what we have of course this very beautiful always on screen what you have to be aware of that it's consuming a lot of battery power when you have it like that even when you have it on the lowest brightness also one complaint from my side brightness yeah you can see that's the lowest brightness so it's still very bright actually too bright for the night so especially when you have it like that so the only way for me was to choose a watch face like that to have it not so bright but this is the lowest thing which you can have there isn't more dimming possible than that also it doesn't have an automatic dimming with some good smart watches even some cheaper smart watches in this price range we sometimes have some sensors which adjust the brightness when you're going outside that it increases 
the brightness that's not happening here but i mean in general the visibility is very good even on the lowest brightness there's even chance that you can see that outside by the way when you have it like that in a normal mode like with the wrist gesture five seconds screen on it consumes only about 15 percent battery per day so it can easily last for one week with all sensors turned on of course screen turned off during the night but when you have it on the always on mode and especially when you're using this beautiful watch face then it's consuming about 10 percent battery power per hour so it lasts only around 10 hours and then it's fully drained in this always on mode that's definitely too much power consumption for an amoled screen for me i'm not really sure if this is amoled this may be just a normal screen i had already an amoled screen from Movoi tick watch which lasted full three days so 10 hours definitely not enough but i mean it's a 30 dollar watch by the way to activate the always on display is up here in the status menu then we go to settings and that's in the screen of time it's a little bit weird so we have to put it on never also something which is a little bit difficult to use but of course we have the crown here so we put it on never confirm that and on top of that we have to deactivate the gesture otherwise when you have it on it will then sometimes deactivate the always on screen that's also a little bit weird when we don't have the always on screen so let's put it for example here on five seconds there is an additional setting and that's actually called the always on screen but that's actually not the always on screen it's pretty weird can see we can activate that we can set the time maximum is three minutes and we can choose the style either this one or the digital one so either one here for example we go with the digital one so let's go back so when i don't do anything it will show this thing here for three minutes and now of course i have to turn on the gesture again but of course i could also leave it in the always on screen for three minutes so now is the always on for three minutes and the gesture it would work like that so when we move our wrist so it goes into this full watch face display after five seconds goes back into this screen for three minutes and then it will turn off that will save a little bit of battery compared to the real always on screen of course but it also doesn't last forever maybe it lasts for two or three days then another huge complaint in the notification settings so here you can see some when we go into detail you can see that there is some information but it doesn't show very long text and also i think it's a little bit difficult to read when we have some emojis then it's writing emoji and there's no option to delete single messages that's also really really bad and a lot of messages i didn't get and i got also a lot of duplicated notifications especially at the beginning now it's a little bit better but still i would say very very unreliable one of the most unreliable notifications i've seen but on the good side of course we can get notifications for pretty much all the apps that's a very positive thing also bad that every morning we have this notification from whatsapp where it's saying backup in progress some of the smartwatch apps are filtering such messages out but not this one here so we can only delete all of them and then they are gone also not a lot of messages can be stored then on the left side we have this status menu where we have the time digital analog we have also calendar calendar is pretty nice we can uh, move out i think yeah here we have it but that's the only thing which we can do we cannot do anything else here but at least we get a nice overview of the months then we have the weather information for three days also not a lot here we can measure or see some health information what's also bad is that this thing here is that's not a real chart that's just a picture that's really sad and i think that's for all the health information or pretty much all the information not everything 
but also not so good sleep yeah okay i don't care a lot this is usually very inaccurate anyway also the alarm here the alarm very bad here actually it just shows one alarm here randomly we cannot go into all the alarms just one and it's not even the next one then music control and common application means that's the last used apps but it's so far away i mean we have to swipe here and then go all the way down i've seen many smart watches which can do that much easier either just swiping like that or double press here something like that status menu apart from that is okay what's also a big problem is the bluetooth it usually says not connected but sometimes it's still connected but the connection is pretty unreliable probably the most unreliable bluetooth connection of any smartwatch i had so far and sometimes then the notifications can be delayed also i had huge problems with the calling function of course we have decent built-in microphone speaker you have to also be careful with this media audio when you activate that it will work like a speaker for everything which you are playing on your smartphone that's usually not what you want so pretty weird when it's saying not connected and still connected i think we can even see that here so can we refresh that yeah here on top you can see it says connected here it says not connected qr code that's just to connect the watch i guess then nfc that's just to open and close doors or so it's not for payment somebody wrote that it could be used for alipay but alipay doesn't work for us citizens anyway then we have to always own here again which we had already here i think we can lock the watch face and what's very unusual is that we have a second status screen on the right side so this is not everything so we can swipe here you can see there are more things like activate deactivate the vibration calendar again turn it off do not disturb but we have the automatic mode which worked actually really good i have activated that so i didn't get any notification during the night and also i've been able to deactivate the gesture during the night automatically so the good thing is you don't have to do anything before you go to bed or after you wake up in the morning everything will be automatically of course only when you activate that here on the smartphone app on the right side we have also the fitness information we can start fitness activity i think we cannot go back to the main screen yeah also something yeah exercise too short it works somehow in a similar way like most other watches not perfect but i would say decent what's more the problem is then the health tracking like these things here again here that's not the real measurement it's just an image here really sad that's it here i think i've activated everything then all the other apps here again motion tracking don't know what it is says no track can't do anything search for the phone stopwatch timer also something which is not good you have some pretty fine timers you can activate also your own one up to probably 24 hours or so or not even that only three hours that's also very low most smartwatches allow at least for 24 hours so for example let's do just a little bit yeah so the looks like the crown is not working here so we have to swipe up and swipe up and down with these digits it's also something very really not so good so let's do 10 seconds when we start that here we can go back to the main screen and then we have even the information of the timer here in this island when we have activated that in the settings that's cool but it just vibrates uh, three times very short and not even very strong and then it goes back to zero and we can't just start same timer i mean i use this a lot for grilling or so when i use same timer like a three minute three minute three minute that's not possible here you have to really go back and then go to the full menu and go to a timer and start the thing again that's also something which bothers me and that the vibration is only three times very short so there's a huge chance that you will miss that you can store some business cards nice calculator but it doesn't have a c 
but other than that it works nicely breathe training weather yeah i think we had most of it yeah, another bad thing is the siri why do we have only siri i've tried it i mean i have android and i'm using google assistant and it's somehow invoking the google assistant on my phone when i click here usually it shows up here and now the screen is protected but it doesn't work anyway so i can click on that hey google what's the weather and so you can see it has been invoking something here but it never really worked so i think in combination with an android phone it's basically useless why did they do that instead of implementing like alexa or google assistant i don't know because i'm really sure yeah now it's saying phone not connected we had confirmation before that it's connected and the phone is here it says not connected yeah really really bad some other things spo2 measurement blood pressure not going into that this is as good or as bad as with mo most other watches we have also the body temperature that's something which is rather unusual i had the impression that it's okay but also this screen here just a picture then the atmosphere here of course i have to blur the location but showing the location location is accurate i don't know if this is really working without the smartphone without the app could be i don't know i've never tested that at least looks interesting met i don't know what it is blood glucose doesn't really show a lot of change i don't know how accurate this is probably not so much compass has been working you can see you can rotate this and it stays always pretty much in the same location and that's inside where it's usually pretty difficult so that's a good thing settings again and i think we had pretty much everything already and back to the app where we can't do a lot i mean here we have all the fitness information but it's really not doing a lot temporary no data blood oxygen no data what do we have blood glucose at least we have this thing here that's the only interesting thing for me here maybe normal fitness information like steps or so sports activity sleep heart rate yeah okay at least we have the heart rate but we have it only measured every 10 minutes the device settings watch face market nothing too crazy all the good watch faces are already stored on the watch these are just more generic watch faces nothing really nice notification settings yeah we can activate that for all the apps one of the biggest advantages here of this app than just normal things which we have with every other smartphone app as well update firmware looks like it's already at the latest version i hope they will be able to improve to give a decent upgrade to this watch so it can be used again and also not so good in the my settings you can see there is no user login so as soon as you uninstall the app everything will be gone you can't transmit your data to google fit or other fitness tracking apps by the way the app is the rd fit there are very similar watches look almost exactly the same but they're using a different app so they are then not same watch if you want to buy the top end of this design here you have to look for something with the rd fit and of course you also have the call function so we have the contacts which are synced can't show you that of course we have the call log we have dial pad we have call setup we have even sos which you can add here dial pad standard easy to use at least more or less has a little bit small numbers and i've been able to make some phone call from here using the microphone and speaker and they worked really good so i'm going to play my call which i've been record so you can hear how good the microphone is gt4 pro microphone test on the 345 now it shows connected you can see so i really had to go back to my phone into the bluetooth settings and click here and also click here a couple of times and now it seems to be connected again and so i've dialed my second phone number here there should be the answering machine soon of course i have to cover my number here 
Yes, I hope you heard that speaker is really nice. We have the option to increase, decrease the volume and also switch, of course, the call to the phone. That's pretty much standard. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to show you something. Yeah, I removed already the band because I'm not going to wear this anymore. Yeah, what I forgot to show you is the configuration of this button. There's a menu where you can assign some function like double pressing. I tried it now. And that's the timer. Yeah, it definitely worked this time, but it's rather unreliable, does not work every time. And I've been programming the Siri on the long press. Let's see. Okay, that works as well. And by the way, that's in the settings in the key definition, like double click. You can choose whatever you want, pretty much every program. Also for the long press, you can pretty much select every program which is available on the watch. So definitely not a top smartwatch app. But for me, everything would be acceptable somehow because it's so beautiful. I could deal with all the small flaws, but I cannot deal with the alarm, which is always audible and very loud in the morning. That's not good. I don't like this. They really need to change that and so I keep it on the side, will remove the watch band again and go for maybe every couple of months here and try if there's an updated firmware. But for me, unfortunately, now it's time to go back to this one. Not such a fancy watch as this one here, not such a fancy screen, but very, very reliable has been doing exactly what I wanted. By the way, of course, has the style of the Apple Watch Pro Max or however that's called. By the way, also available for around $30 on TMU. And I've also made a full review about this watch. Really, really nice one here, solid build. Yeah, unfortunately, no real recommendation from my side for this watch, at least not at this point. Look, some people had some good idea, but the implementation then failed. Not, not completely, but yeah, a lot, definitely. But I still hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below. And I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.